What is going on? Figured I'd go live again. Why the fuck not? So I'm going to be using some Tonka Bean Shave Co. I believe this is from the same people who make um, sebum. Like sebum gold, sebum aqua, sebum cafe, or whatever the fuck. All those. So Tonka Bean Shave Co. This one's in their barbershop. It says notes of lemon, bergamot. Cool mint, lavender, green cord, sandalwood, cedarwood, amber, musk, all that good shit. It smells pretty good too, actually. It, it's not, it, if somebody would have showed me this, I wouldn't have immediately said, that's barbershop, you know. Ken from, uh, Ken Romito from the group, or Ken Shave 326 on YouTube and Instagram, he, uh, he sent me the soap. Got some loaded up. My Lancaster bowl right there. It was very soft. And part of the reason it was very soft is it had to have melted or Ken just took half the tub for himself. Because look at this shit. Either Ken took half the tub for himself or it all slid to one side when it was in shipping. This is the first time I opened it and that's the kind of results that I'm greeted with. Like, what the fuck is that? Anyhow, I'm going to be using the gold edge here, the double duck gold edge. This one has a Frank Misa strike gold shave edge on it. Very good looking razor, in my opinion. It's in decent condition. In spots, you can see that it's uh, a little bit worn out. He sent it along with this kind of like cheap leather sheath. Which I thought was a nice touch. I'm also going to be using my That Darn Rob that's bathing in some distilled water right there. And got my shave beer with me. This one's actually all the way from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. My wife just got back from a trip and she brought this. This is the Lopita IPA from Monzon Brewing. Okay, and that is a West Coast IPA, man. That thing is dank and pretty fucking hoppy right there. That's resinous. Wow. Holy shit. Haven't had one like that in a while. That is fucking West Coast, man. All right. I'll go ahead and wring my brush out. You can see it's jelly. That's the Fanchurian Knot from That Darn Rob. Don't ask me which badge, because I don't care and I don't know. <clears throat> I got some purple dyed wood on the bottom there. Has a nice feature right here. And then a black topper. And it's just a really classy piece. Um, I, I knew I had to have it as soon as I saw it. Really nice brush. I'm a bowl lather. And at first, the Fanchurian wasn't really jiving with me. But now, um, I'm seeming to uh, figure out what works for it and what doesn't. I feel like this is a better face lather, but I am primarily a bowl lather. I'll face lather on the uh, off day, like the occasional one-off for whatever the fuck reason. But I'm mostly a bowl lather. I have a fucking badass bowl and I like to use it. So, this thing looked like sort of translucent and... I loaded heavy, it got pasty real fucking quick. So I'm thinking I overloaded. Let me add in some water here real quick. I'm just going to pour this out into a glass because since I'll likely never have this again, I want to get the full experience, see what she looks like. <clears throat> like I said, this one's all the way from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Which, funny enough, I'm from Washington State, and when my wife was talking to the owners, they said they were actually from Seattle, Washington, all the way in Puerto Vallarta, which was I thought was fucking cool, because they're from my home state, but they're all the way over there, and just by chance, just by chance, I was able to get some. So, so I had a little bit of water, distilled water into the bowl. We'll start working it up and see what we get. 
<clears throat> this is the first time I've ever used Tonka Bean Shave Co. I'll show you right there in case you joined in a little bit later. First time I ever used Tonka Bean Shave Co. Seems to be thirsty. Like, I know I, I know I loaded heavy, but it seems to be just fucking absorbing it. Like, looks pasty again. So that's probably a good thing. It means it won't easily be drowned out or washed out, which isn't really a thing nowadays. It doesn't, it's, it's mostly user error nowadays if you fucking wash it out or drown it out, whatever. But it's looking good. Definitely looking good. It's building. It's, it smells nice, but like I said, I wouldn't have categorized it as a barbershop. If somebody just like put it under my nose, I wouldn't have said, oh, you know, classic, you know. This definitely smells, it's pleasant, but it just smells like a nice kind of like candle, maybe like a candle fragrance. That's probably what I would classify it as. I'm happy that it uh, that it lathered up. Now we got something. I'm happy that it lathered up because I'm unsure what created that like total sideways action right there. I don't know if that was just from shipping from Hawaii to Washington or if Ken like scooped out half the puck for himself. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to go ahead and wet the face. We'll put on some Sterling mentholated pre-shave because it is pretty warm up here. Not as bad as last week, but it's still fucking warm up here. All right. Let's get some of that mentholated pre-shave right there. Go ahead and get this big ass bar out. Get some on the fucking... Neck and cheeks. <clears throat> this stuff, what I like about it is it has a very kind of mild chill. And then it doesn't really add much of a fragrance whatsoever. So it doesn't interfere with the soap you're using. It doesn't have like some off-putting menthol fragrance. It's actually quite neutral. We'll just kind of get that worked in, get it activated. I was watching Bukaki Gonzalez early, <laughs> earlier, <laughs> JR. I was watching his um, Razor Rock Lime video on YouTube. And then I was watching a bunch of other stuff in the group. I was watching Paul's Pirate Shave just a little bit ago before I had dinner. Um... Definitely a bunch of fun stuff going on. I've watched a couple replays from other shavers in the group. I mean, this shit is a blast so far. I was doing daily videos on YouTube, but now I'm definitely cycling in more lives because this is fun. This is fun shit. Let me see what's going on here. Whoop. Some bitch almost had a blooper. All right, let's get some lather on the face. So the Tonka... Tonka Bean Shave Co. Looks pretty good, even though I was kind of worried about the condition of the lather. Looks good. So, um, I've noticed this is the first time that I've done Facebook Live in landscape mode, and I haven't seen a single comment come across the board. Now, I didn't touch anything to turn comments off, so I'm just wondering if everybody's being fucking shy or if it's on my end. Because when I was in uh, portrait mode, there was definitely a lot of interaction. So I'm wondering if that's something to do with the landscape. I don't know. And since I can't see comments, I can't really take suggestions on how to fix it. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. This stuff seems pretty, pretty damn low structure. 
It doesn't seem super thin, super dense whatsoever. It actually seems kind of low density. But uh, all we need is slickness, so we'll fucking see right now. See what this shit's made of. I know it's hydrated. All right, we got the Strike Gold Shave Frank Mesa Edge on my Double Duck Gold Edge. Let's get to shaving. <clears throat> this shit is nice. I really enjoy this Frank Mesa Edge. It's probably my favorite edge. I feel like it's somewhere in the middle with that kind of sharp blade feel. But it's still comfortable to me. Um, it's not to the point where I feel like it crosses that threshold of sharpness to where it starts feeling uh, a little bit sticky because it's so sharp. I don't think it really crossed that threshold. If anything, it just kind of, it's like right at the, right at the crossroads of kind of comfortable and sticky sharp. Oh, almost did it. One thing about doing videos and straight razor shaving, I go against the grain on first pass on accident all the time. Very nice. Feels pretty fucking slick, to be honest. Um, this is my first go with it. Uh, like I said, doesn't really seem very dense whatsoever. But as far as the slickness goes, I'd say it's it's there. It's got it. All right, that was a very smooth and clean pass one. Definitely, definitely love this old gold duck. It came to me a little bit beat up, but Frank cleaned it up. Frank tightened it up as far as like pins go. Because it was kind of, it wasn't even centering straight. And uh, now it centers straight. It's sharp, it's a little bit cleaner than when I first bought it. So, definitely a uh, real good experience that I had with Frank from Strike Old Shave. <clears throat> that shit's nice. Let me clear some of that away from the fucking lips there so I can get another drink of beer. <clears throat> Sorry if you guys are commenting like fucking crazy. And I'm just not seeing them. I don't know what it is about landscape mode, but I'm not seeing any comments. And I didn't press anything that said, like, comments off either. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. All right. Let's get some more lather out of the Lancaster Bowl. This uh, Fanchurian knot... Uh, it, I feel like it's like kind of under the amount of backbone that I would like. Like I, I'm kind of cool with like medium backbone. I feel like it's just under that. Super soft tips, but um, you don't really need backbone to get the to get a lather. So as you can see, it it, it works. You know, it's just not uh, it's just not my favorite knot in the den but definitely feels luxurious when you're painting and and when you're scrubbing and building. It feels luxurious. This thing's soft as hell, very nice. So, let's get some more from the bowl. Why fuck around? Oh, 
and the sense strength is actually pretty good too. I'd say it's above medium. Probably six, seven out of ten. It's nice. It's definitely nice. I'm enjoying this Tonka Beam Barbershop. I feel like it's pleasant. But um, it's not something that I would like yearn for, I don't think. It's just kind of, it's pleasant, but it's, it's basic bitch, you know what I mean? And this edge, even against the grain, feels very, very smooth. And I gotta know if uh, Justin was watching because if he was watching, I don't got no fucking blood yet, <laughs> but I don't have the comments either, so maybe that's part of the curse. Maybe that's one way to cheat it. Looks like... Brother, you there? Oh shit! What's going on? <laughs> hey man, I don't know with the whole landscape. Yeah, you can on the landscape thing. Swipe your or swipe your finger across the screen. It'll show up on the comments for you. Oh my god! See, I've never done this before. It worked. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, hey, man. Coming in close, man. Hey, I'm out. But there you go. Good shape so far, my man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. All right, thanks. That's fucking awesome. Tells you how much of a fucking Facebook Live noob I am. All right, let's see what we say here. Paging Justin. What's going on, Paul? Ronald? Stanley? Philip? Quinn? Okay, now we go. Here we go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I've never done that shit before. Yeah, I was going um, I was going in portrait mode over and over, and fucking David Gonzalez was giving me shit because of it. <laughs> He's like, "It's in portrait again." I'm like, "Well, fuck. I'm used to IG Live. You know what I mean." But thanks, Quinn. Thanks for saving the day right there. <clears throat> I'm never opposed to jumping in on a uh, on a uh, a dual live shave either. If you guys are ever interested, I don't care. You know what I mean? I don't care if it's the first time we met. We can do a fucking dual live one of these days. Just hit me up. But yeah, I usually just do a two pass. One with the grain, one against the grain, and then I call it. Um, I found that the across the grain, even with my DEs and SEs, um, it was just kind of another pass, and I didn't need it. And really, the result was less irritation from cutting out a pass. So, there's that. I still kind of do some touch-ups and uh, problem areas. So, I do do across the grain strokes, but it's not a full across the grain uh, pass. Let me get some of this off. But yeah, for the most part, it's just just with the grain and against the grain. And that shit works good for me. I found that it cut down on irritation. And uh, I still get BBS, you know what I mean? That across the grain, or that against the grain is really the finisher, no matter if you do it on your first pass or if you do it on your last pass, you know? And trust me, like I said, when I was doing my uh, 
when I first started race, straight razor shaving and I was on my uh, YouTube channel, I, uh, I would get to talking and I would go against the grain, first pass, just not even paying no attention to my, uh, you know, my habits that I've been doing for years now. And, um, it was fine. Like, it wasn't as comfortable as knocking it down with a with the grain pass, but it still got me close and it didn't really leave, like, irritation or anything. It just kind of sucked doing one pass instead of two. Because that's less shaving. Ah. Alright. So that shit was nice. So. I don't know who came in at what point. Because I barely started seeing the comments. But Tonka Bean Shave Co. Barbershop. Um, pleasant scent. Definitely has some good slickness. I thought it was pretty low to medium density it didn't really whip up into some heavy you can feel the weight on your face type thing it wasn't like that it felt pretty light um but it was slick it was definitely slick and i think that's probably what they hang their hat on because it says the secret to slickness right there and that's fine because really that's all you need so that that was that was a good fucking shape I'm going to finish up with some Seville from Barrister and Man in the Deltas aftershave formula because I don't even know if Tonka Bean has matching aftershaves because I didn't buy that. My buddy let me borrow it. But yeah, Barrister and Man right here, Seville, Deltas. I'm pretty sure every one of us knows this. I'll go ahead and crack it off. I would add some menthol to it, but I didn't have it out. Let's get some of this on the cheeks. Some of this on the neck. I'll have to get some of the rest of that soap out of my beard later. Oh, but this Seville is better. <laughs> Fragrance-wise, in my opinion, this is a better barbershop than the Tonka Bean Shave Co. barbershop. In my opinion, this is more like a candle type fragrance. It's pleasant, but it's not, it, it's nothing impressive, you know what I mean? It, it's nice, I don't think it'll offend anybody, it's just not impressive either. So, Seville, much better, much better. So, Double Duck Gold Edge right here. Like I said, cleaned up by Frank Misa. Um, the, tightened the pins. Gave it a little scrub. Honed it for me. I fucking love this thing. And uh, Paul. Lather me whiskers. He's my Gold Duck brother. He has one just like mine. Yeah. Yeah, Seville. Seville's a stellar scent. Exactly. Uh, I think, I think the majority of us have Seville or experience Seville or at least respect Seville because it's, it's fucking good shit, you know what I mean? This right here, I could take it or leave it as far as scent goes. Performance, I wouldn't hesitate buying it because the performance was great. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. <clears throat> Thank you, Ronald. Sorry that I didn't, uh... <laughs> I wasn't responding to comments until kind of like the back end of the shave, but uh, like I said, never done this fucking landscape version before. I just kind of figured the comments would start coming. What's up, Dave? Cheers, everybody. I got this fucking West Coast IPA from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Shit's nice. 